So in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, printing out numbers and expressions. We're not going to be evaluating expressions which means working out the um, you know the value of an expression. So for example I have an expression say 10 plus 2. If we evaluate that we'll get the number 12. But we're not going to be doing that in this video. We're just going to be printing out the expression because evaluating expressions is kind of complicated to do um, in an interpreter. So what we're going to do is we're first going to get rid of this print tokens because we can see the tokens already. Actually, we'll leave it there for debugging. But what we're going to do is, um, as you can see, we're, we can print strings at the moment. Uh, but we want to be able to print numbers and expressions. We all, well, we also want to be, we want to be able to print numbers and evaluated expressions. But for now, we're just going to print numbers and the actual expression itself. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say or, and we're going to paste in um, the same thing again. And what we're going to do is we're going to change this to num to begin with. So what we're going to do is we just need to change this to 0, 3 and because um, what this is doing is this gets the word string from the string token because the string token also has the value of the string and what we're doing is we're getting the first three letters of the num token because the num token also has the value of the number. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to uh, go to terminal and refresh this. Um, okay, we might get Okay, we uh, don't get anything printed out to us. Okay, the reason we don't get anything printed out is because here it says uh, print, and we're starting on the seventh, um, the seventh character in the string, but uh, our number is not that long. Whoops. If I go to here, you can see it says num colon 10, and there's only six characters in that, so we're starting on the seventh, so we're getting a blank. So we're basically getting a blank string. So what we want to do here is we want to say if, uh, whoops, Tokes i plus one, uh, and then we want to say colon zero six equals string. Then we're going to print uh, like this. Then we're going to say else. Uh, we'll just say elif because we'll have multiple ones. Elif tokes i plus one colon uh, zero to three. We're going to get the first three characters. And we want to get the word num. So we'll say num. And we'll just print tokes i plus one. And then we, we also we want to ignore the colon as well. So that's why this starts on seven. So this means that since num is three characters long, we want to start on the fourth character. So we're going to say four. Go to the end of the string. And we're just going to copy and paste this. And you probably already noticed that interpreters um, are quite repetitive so far. So we're just going to say expr. And this is going to be 4 and this is going to be 5. And all we have to do here is change this as well. So we'll say or uh, tokes uh, i plus 1 is equal to expression, which is going to be 4 characters. So if we just load this and hit enter. You can see it prints 10. If I said 10 plus 20 or 29, even I mis mistyped it, and I hit enter, you can see it says 10 plus 29. If I also say plus, oops, I want to just use numbers, so say that number and hit enter. You can see our expressions can be as long as we want. But if I put a minus, say minus 39 in there, we're not, it's just going to give us an error because we don't know how to deal with minuses at the moment. So that's really easy to fix. All we want to do is come in here and change this to an or toke equals minus or toke equals uh, actually we'll just do minus for now and I'll show you that it fixed it. So if we come up here and hit enter, you can see now we can uh, save minuses. And we can say or toke equals divide or toke equals multiply or toke equals, we're also going to do brackets because we're not going to do anything about precedence in this video, but we're going to use brackets to work out precedence uh, because uh, in some most languages like C++ and all, you can do 10 plus 2 times 4. And what that would do is it would do the 2 times 4 first, which is 8, plus 10, which is 18. So that's what, uh, that would give us 18, and that's just uh, uh, in C++ or most other languages. But what we're going to do is we're going to ignore all that, and to make things simpler, we're just going to say 10. If we see 10 plus 2 times 4, we're just going to uh, say that equals 10 plus 2, which is 12, multiplied by 4, which is 48. So that's going to be in our language. 
And to solve the precedence problem, what we're going to do is really simply, we're just going to say 10 plus uh, 2 times 4. Oops, 2 times 4. And then to solve this problem, we're just going to put brackets around it. Because in uh, maths, you do the brackets first. So that does 2 times 4, which is 8, plus 10, 18. So that's what our language would do to get uh, 18. So we're going to keep brackets, but we're not actually going to do anything with brackets at the moment. We're just going to allow you to put them in an expression. So now if we load this again, you'll see we get the same result. But say I do the exact same expression again. So I say 10 plus 2 times 4, and then I'm just going to put brackets around it. When we evaluate uh, this expression, what we're going to get is obviously the right value, which is 18. But what we want to, what we're going to do in this video is just print it out. So if I print that, so as you can see, we just get 10 plus 2, and then in brackets, 2 times 4, which is exactly what we uh, provided. And we don't even need to put brackets. We could uh, get rid of some spaces. We could have a space there, no, a space there, and no spaces on these ones. And it will give us the exact same answer because we just ignore spaces. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get rid of the print tokens because we don't need that at the moment. And if we just load that again, you can see that's what we get as a result. But before I go, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these quotes around the hello world. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function called uh, to print, and the function is going to take the string uh, to print. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if to print, oops, uh, if to print um, not to six equals string, then we're going to say to print equals uh, to print seven um, onward. We actually want to get rid of the double quotes as well. So if we're starting on seven, we actually want to add one on to make it eight to get rid of the first quote. And then what we also want to do is we want to say to print equals to print colon, and then we'll just say minus one. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down here and I'll say uh, print to print. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to come up here and say uh, if it equals a number, so we'll say elif, and we'll say num. Then what we're going to do is we'll just copy this again, change this to a 4. We'll also do that for expressions as well. EXPR, we'll change this to a 5 and this to a 4. So what we want to do now is we actually just want to pass it the variable tokes i plus 1 because um, we're doing the um, sort of convert, we're getting rid of the uh, value of the, of the beginning of the token in the print function. We're not actually needing to pass the already removed version. So for example, the token, if I had a string that said hello world, the token would look like this. Whoops, hello world. So what we're doing is we're passing this entire token to the um, do print function. And what the function does is the first thing it does is it removes this string and we're left with this. And then what it does is it removes those as well. So we're left with just the words hello world. So we just have to change this uh, print function to the uh, do print function. And we'll just copy and paste this. And as you'll see, if we hit enter, uh, okay, we get um, something wrong with the string. So we'll just say uh, that minus one and hit enter. And as you can see, it got rid of the double quotes for us, but it preserved uh, our expression. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.